does end tonight. Nobody but nobody would have thought that Lynn Camp and Pikeville would have been knocking on the state semifinal Class A door. Heading into October, Pikeville was just one and four, but it played an unbelievably tough schedule. In fact, their first five opponents all made the playoffs. Lynn Camp was a little better at three and four, but also had not yet played their best football. Tonight, the Wildcats hosted the school's first region championship game ever. Let's go to the happy camping ground over in Corbin, Kentucky. The brown grass, well, it's a sign of postseason play. First quarter, soar. Derek soared to Brett Gibson for the score. Six to nothing, Panthers. And then Lynn Camp. They tried it last week against Hazard, didn't work. The halfback pass. It's Jesse Chaffin to Andrew Jackson, and the president takes it to the house. Six to six, we are tied, and of course, the fireworks, it's state semi-final time, regional final time. It's time for fireworks. Second quarter, Pikeville hands off to Robert Shirtlip. Big 4-0 goes into the end zone easily, and the Pikeville cheerleaders made the long ride. So did the fans. They would lead 14-6 after the two-point conversion. Lynn Camp hands off to Jesse Chin, swings it into the end zone for the touchdown. Number 14, scampers into the end zone. 21-14 at the break, third quarter. It's Chafin again. He would score, and it's 21 apiece at that point. This game would go to overtime, folks. Lynn Camp would tie it with a minute and a half to go as we go to the scoreboard. And in overtime, Lynn Camp, the first region championship ever for the Happy Campers, and they are having a huge party at the brand new school, the brand new field, just a couple of years old. Congratulations to Lynn Camp. Pikeville loses the Class A region championship for the first time since 98. Great season on their part. Great season for Lynn Camp. They are moving on to play Beachwood in the state semifinals. Who would have thunk it?